Today I'm going to demonstrate the piriformis injection. Piriformis injection under ultrasound guidance is useful in diagnostic maneuvers, specifically for patients that may have sciatic-like symptoms as the sciatic nerve passes close to the piriformis muscle. In piriformis syndrome, the piriformis muscle is hypertrophied and can mimic sciatic symptoms caused by lumbar herniated discs. If this has been excluded, this particular procedure can be done under ultrasonographic guidance. The patient is placed in the prone position with a pillow underneath to provide a bolster. The side in question is identified and prepped in this particular fashion. The gluteus is exposed. For facilitation of visualization, I utilize the Sonocyte M Turbo with the musculoskeletal setting to help enhance the muscular fibers of the piriformis muscle, the gluteus minimus and maximus, and the curvilinear shape facilitates entry of the needle into the targeted site. To perform this particular block, the following equipment is necessary. Chlorhexidine for sterile technique, local anesthetic syringe containing 1% buffered lidocaine, and then a syringe containing 5 cc's of bupivacaine, 1 half percent, mixed with 5 cc's of 1 percent lidocaine, and then 40 to 80 milligrams of triamcinolone Kenalog, which is uh, a particulate steroid. A 3 and a half inch, 25 gauge spinal needle will also be utilized for the procedure. There will be sterile 4 by 4s necessary to clean the area at the conclusion, and a simple band-aid will suffice to cover the wound. Copious amounts of gel are required for this particular procedure. The middle portion of the gluteus is identified and then in a transverse or left to right positioning the probe is placed in contact with the skin. The leg in question can be mobilized in a abduction, adduction maneuver, demonstrating motion of the piriformis muscle as it inserts out towards the greater trochanter and towards the ischium centrally. Clearly in the middle of the screen, you can also identify the sciatic nerve as it passes very close to the fibers of the piriformis muscle. A central point is identified making sure to stay away from the investing fascia around the sciatic nerve. The skin is marked and then 1% local anesthetic is injected directly in short axis view. And then a 25 gauge 3 and a half inch needle is passed through this anesthetized tract and approximately 6 cc's of local anesthetic containing bupivacaine and lidocaine in a one-to-one -one mixture with a small amount of steroid if desired can be injected. This is a short axis view and the curvilinear probe is applied in the transverse orientation. The leg is being adducted and abducted to show the muscle moving. The sciatic nerve is clearly visible in the substance of the muscle. It is the band-like hyperechoic structure. The injectate is the hypoechoic structure that grows within the substance of the muscle. The probe is withdrawn, the area wiped with a 4x4, four four. and then a band-aid placed over the wound. This is the successful completion of a piriformis injection under ultrasonographic guidance.